Okay, welcome everyone. James Parker from jamesparkgolf.com and uh, this is a video uh, a few days ago. I'm just out there practicing before all this snow got here in Dallas and uh, I'm just practicing uh, something very simple. I call it the figure of eight drill and um, it's basically the feeling in my hands of this club head uh, moving in a figure of eight. So, you know, going back, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a little steeper uh, and coming down, it's going to be a little flatter. So uh, I'm working very hard. I'm trying to get that club head high and you can see that shaft's a little steep there and I'm, I'm just kind of setting it and then turning to the top. And of course, then when I turn to the top, I'm trying to drag the handle across, which then drops the club head and gathers the club head and gets it on a little kind of steeper, uh, flatter plane. Uh, coming down so but of course you know although although I feel it's very uh, a lot steeper going back it's actually just coming straight up the inclined plane like you know my hands are working up it the club head is working up it um, and then it starts to come off come off the inclined plane there the club head just gets a little steep so so the idea behind this is uh, I just like everybody else has a tendency to Kind of flip this club head uh, behind my hands going back so it's a really good exercise to and, and what it feels like is a figure of eight right my club head's kind of coming up this way um, and then a bit more turn to the top and then you know there's a great exercise that uh, brian manzella taught me a few months ago when i went down to see him um, down in new orleans and he just said well basically imagine that your handle uh, is uh, on a shelf or or something like that and then try and drag the handle and your hands uh, across the shelf now obviously for every for every action there's a there's an equal and opposite reaction so if my handles going that way you can see what the the club head does the club head gathers the club head drops down and this is what you see all the all the top guys do on tour right this this shaft kind of shallows out coming down and as they come down into impact you know the, the most of them have got this club head still behind their hands slightly uh, coming down uh, into impact so you know I call it the, the figure of eight drill it's just simply going back it's a little steeper the club feels very very light because it's uh, it's you know you can see it's almost vertical um, and then as you come down it's 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 a lot lot heavier right obviously I'm overdoing it you know if you want to make a change you have to overdo things to, to generate that feeling in your hands and your muscles but you know as you come down this club head dropping down the shaft shallowing down there's a lot of pressure build up in this first pad or first joint of that right hand trigger finger okay so that's what you want to try and feel coming down into impact and you're holding on to it down through impact and post impact and almost all the way through to the finish as well you can see if you do that the 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 hands kind of exit left this is what you see most of the pros do on tour you know especially uh, a lot of Sean Foley students, the guys that work with Sean Foley, I see them kind of setting the club here, making sure the club head is behind the hands, uh, feeling that pressure in the trigger finger, and then uh, exiting left. So uh, I'm feeling that, and then uh, you know I've got a bit of James Brown going on in the uh, in the old listeners, and uh, just trying to produce it uh, in the golf swing. So steeper going back, flatter coming down, light going back, heavy coming down. And um, if you practice that, I think it'll really help you out. Cheers.